water ski before? No? Well, let me tell you a little something about it. There's a lot of physics involved in water skiing. In fact, more than you really think about. Clearly, I can't go in the water right now because it's very cold. But when you're in the water, you want to sit at a 45 degree angle to the water. That way, when the boat starts moving, the downward force of the water is going to push the bottom of the ski and lift you out. At the same time, you want to be pushing back on the boat so the force of you on the boat is going to lift you out of the water as well. So, if we draw a free body diagram, it'll look something like this. Come on over. So if we want to draw a picture of this, we can start by just drawing a simple stick figure. You're here, sitting in the water, at a 45 degree angle, with your skis and your legs up, holding on to a tow rope attached to a boat. The boat's going to accelerate forwards, which is going to cause you to move forwards as well. In order to get out of the water, you want to lean backwards, which is going to produce a counter force. That is your force on the boat. This is the boat's force on you. These counter forces are like Newton's third law. Every action has an equal and opposite reaction. So now let's draw a free body diagram. Seeing that all this is at an angle, the force of the boat is actually going to be this way. The force of the water is also going to be at an angle because it's hitting the surface of your skis straight on but then curving down. That's going to produce a downward force of the water. You, on the other hand, will be producing a horizontal force in the opposite direction, and that is the counter force. All of these forces together, force of the boat, force of the water, and force of you, is going to cause you to stand up. When you're preparing to ski, you must keep the rope centered between your two skis and you, and the ski should be at about a 45 degree angle to the water. This is extremely important because this is what allows you to use the force of the boat and the water to stand up. At a 45 degree angle, when the boat begins to move, the water creates a downward force that pushes the water against the bottom of the skis. This angle downward force helps push the skis up while the force of the boat pulls the body out of the water. When skiing, it's important to always lean back. This is because you are countering the force of the boat. Newton's third law says that every action has an equal and opposite reaction. When the boat begins to pull, you must lean back to counter that force. Your counter force on the boat is significantly smaller than the force on the boat has on you, causing you to accelerate in the direction of the boat. So skiing, just like most of physics, revolves around Newton's laws and forces. Look at the free body diagram of the person about to ski. The angle downward force of the water helps push your skis out of the water. The tension in the rope, uh, the boat force, pulls the body out of the water and the counter lean force, your force on the boat, allows you to accelerate in the direction of the boat. Now we all know that there are two components to water skiing. First is getting up and second is actually staying on top of the water. But this video is only going to focus on, on getting out of the water. So tune in next week for the second.